Oh, that's so Lovely. wonderful. We should all have a cuddle curtain. I we miss should. my hugs. I miss hugs. I know, I'm missing my family <laughs> hugs as well. <laughs> we, we do have a mixed picture in the weather forecast yeah. over the next few days. Let's take a look at your weather pictures. Esther Johnson took this shot today in Headington in Oxfordshire. John Cousins photographed the rain falling today in Berkshire. So today we did have some rainfall, quite cloudy conditions in many places and this cloudy scene was captured in Hungerford by one of our weather watchers earlier on today. Through the course of tomorrow we'll see very similar scenes, some outbreaks of rain from time to time which could be heavy in a few places, mainly light and patchy and we'll have a lot of low cloud and perhaps some mist in places very like today. And overnight tonight there is the chance of some low cloud and mist with further outbreaks of rain which could be heavy at times, some, brighter, um, some clearer skies in places but a lot of cloud in general and there will be a lot of low clouds, so some misty conditions with lows of 14 to 15 degrees, so quite a humid night to come. Temperatures will stay fairly high with the light winds. Now through the day tomorrow, we're expecting a southwesterly breeze bringing in some outbreaks of rain once again. They could be heavy at times, but it's generally light and patchy. And with all that cloud, temperatures will be suppressed slightly just below their seasonal average with a high of 20 degrees. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are southwesterly, four to five, occasionally six at first, then veering northwesterly. That's the inshore waters from Selsey Bill to Lyme Regis from midday tomorrow until midday on Thursday. Tomorrow night, once again, further outbreaks of rain are a possibility. The rain will come and go, so there will be some drier periods as well, but generally a lot of cloud. But this is the last time we'll see that cloud because it will start to ease its way eastwards during the course of Friday. Temperatures tomorrow night down to around 12 to 14 degrees, so another humid night to come. Then we start to see things improve. We've got a breeze on Friday. You can see the isobars starting to stick together. That means the breeze will be slightly stronger. So on Friday, we'll have the winds coming in from the northwest, bringing in some sunny spells, patchy cloud for some, and the odd isolated shower. And if you do catch a shower, more likely down the eastern part of the country, they could be heavy and they could also be thundery in a few places. So here's the outlook for the rest of the week, improving as we head towards the weekend with high pressure starting to build through the latter part of Friday. So Friday, we'll see sunny spells and the odd isolated shower. Over the weekend, temperatures rise as we head towards Sunday. There will be a good deal of sunshine each day. Cloud will build in places and the night times will be slightly fresher. Sally. Thanks, Alexis. We'll finish up with the main national headline for you tonight. The Chancellor has unveiled a £30 billion plan to try to protect the economy in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. He's launched a series of measures that he hopes will not only save current jobs, but will also create thousands of new ones. Labour says the plans just don't go far enough. Tomorrow, the Reading photographer taking door traits of her neighbours during lockdown. Door traits are portraits on their doorsteps. Okay. Just in case you didn't know. Uh, that's <laughs> it from know. us. Join us tomorrow if you can. Good night. Good night. <laughs> door traits.